My name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how the service catalog is used during the request phase of the asset lifecycle. Hardware Asset Management leverages the service catalog for the first phase of the asset lifecycle, the request phase. Asset managers should publish hardware asset catalog items for the end users to request. Vendor catalog items should be created for each catalog item. When creating new catalog items for hardware assets, ensure the catalog item is published from the model or that a specific model is associated with the catalog item. Having users request specific models from the catalog item allows asset managers to source the request directly from inventory. This is HAM 2.0, the source hardware request process. I will now jump into an instance and walk you through the service catalog for hardware assets. Okay, so I'm logged into a Vancouver instance of ServiceNow with hardware asset management installed, and I'm going to show you how to publish a hardware model to the service catalog so our end users can request it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to model management and come into my hardware models. And here I've already got a ThinkPad E14 that I've created. This is a new model we're going to be introducing to our company. And now we want to go ahead and publish this to the hardware catalog so our end users can request it. So the easiest way to do it to create the catalog item is to click the Publish to Hardware Catalog. And it's going to ask me which catalog I want to put this in. And I'm going to look for hardware. And click OK. And you can see that the catalog item was created successfully. So now what I'm going to do is jump over to the catalog item and take a look at what has been created to make sure that the flows, etc., are set it up properly. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to filter and show my hardware items. And I'm just going to show, sort for anything that's active. And here I can see I have the new ThinkPad E14 that is now a catalog item. I'm going to go into that catalog item. And I want to take a look at a few things. So the first thing I want to do is I don't really need this execution plan because that's a default that comes. But what I do want to do is make sure that the default procurement flow that comes with the system is enabled. And this is going to give me a general approval process. And it's also going to make sure that we can get the source request task. So this is a, a flow that's already built in with hardware asset management. Now, a lot of companies will want to make a copy of this flow and perhaps make some modifications to it um, for their own needs. But we're going to be using just the out of the box flow today. So we can see that the, the price from the model has already been carried over. So that's good. We can see our vendor is Lenovo. So there'll be a vendor catalog item automatically here for Lenovo. Um, and we've already got the short description that's been that's come over. So now what I can do is I can just take a look and see. Looks like by default there's a variable on this. I don't really need this variable on my catalog item because I'm doing a very, very simple, quick catalog item. So I'm just going to delete that variable. Again, your developers are going to um, have probably very specific requirements for you to complete um, for each company is going to be a little bit different. So i um, just going to save this so I don't lose that. Um, we're going to go ahead and we'll just maybe attach an image here. So let's attach an icon to this. We'll just go to the desktop. I think I have a ThinkPad here. Okay, we'll put that icon there. Maybe we'll use the same thing for the picture as well, just so it's a little bit more intuitive for our end users. We're going to go ahead and save this and just click on the try it button. And that's going to allow me to see what the catalog item looks like. Well, it looks pretty good. So one of the other things I want to do is we have two options we can purchase directly from Lenovo or we can pick, uh, purchase from CDW. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up an additional catalog item. So it's perhaps Lenovo is out of stock, but CDW has got some stock and maybe our fulfillers are going to need to fulfill quicker or something like that. Then they can choose to go through CDW. So I'm going to create a new vendor catalog item for this one. And we're going to look for CDW. 
and we're going to take a look for the model. And there's our ThinkPad E14. And our model pad E14. And but unfortunately the price for CDW is a little bit more expensive. Let's say $16.50 is the cost for this particular one. And we'll show you when we go through the request process or the fulfillment process what the different catalog items will look like. So there we go, we can save our catalog item. And now our users can go ahead and request this catalog item. So I'm going to pause the video, log in as another user, and we can see the request process. Okay, so now I've logged into the service portal and just as a regular user, just as regular Hamilton user, and they're going to go ahead and they're going to request a laptop. So they're going to click on request something. They'll come down into the hardware section and take a look and they know they want to find a Lenovo and there's the Lenovo ThinkPad. So they're going to go ahead and, and they're just going to go ahead and order this. Any delivery specific information, this is just part of the default flow that comes, any special instructions, and we'll just hit checkout. And now this user has requested um, um, the laptop and the request item is 22. Um, so that's pretty much how we um, submit a service catalog for to start the request process of the asset lifecycle. So in the next video, we're going to take you through the um, fulfillment process and, and sourcing this particular request. So that'll come in another video.